I'm gonna choke him out, I'm gonna apply a submission hold. Make him quit. Help him up, send him home. I'm not gonna see me, I'm bad. Cause you dumb. That's why your hair is receding. Your brain is toxic, your hair is receding. I'm gonna ice that motherfucker, watch. I'm gonna ice that motherfucker. On my wife, I'm gonna ice that motherfucker. I'm not gonna see me, I'm bad. Microphone check. I'm Magno TV. I'm back. All right, this is my second time recording this because people kept calling me and messaging me and commenting while I was recording this and it was pissing me off. Anyways, Jose Pedraza versus Teofimo Lopez. Um, that's going to be an amazing fight. It's going to be a lot better fight than people think. So it's scheduled for December 10th, live on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. Now, Jose Pedraza is 33 years old in his prime. He is 20, has 29 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 14 knockouts. And, you know, I thought he beat Jose Ramirez, so, you know, he, but whatever, it's still a loss. But, um, yeah, he has TFMO next. He's super skilled, super technical. Um, has speed, has defense, has good footwork. He, he's an overall great boxer. I, in my, my in my eyes, I compare him to like a, a Miguel Cotto. You know, like for real, like a super skilled boxer who has everything figured out pretty much. But he has his flaws. Now, Tiafimo Lopez is in his prime as well. Twenty five years old. 17 wins, one loss, which was a split decision versus Cambosis. That could be debatable. Um, 13 knockouts in 18 fights. That's a lot of knockouts. He just uh, came off a win with um, Pedro Campa and looked spectacular. Now, I'm still a little worried about him at 140. He looks a little small. I think with a good nutritionist, he could go back down to 135 and rule that. But... Hey, look, for right now, he's at 140, so we'll see how he does. I think he's a little small for 140. You know, I don't think he's 5'8". I think he's more about 5'6". You know, it's real easy for these fighters to tell you that they're a certain height or weight. And, um, I mean, it's a certain height. And because when you, when you go, when you show up to a fight, you literally write it down in pen or pencil and, that's what they announce it as, you know, whatever, whatever you say. And then, and then it ends up on Wikipedia or Fight Finders or Tapology. I used to do it all the time. I used to tell people I was five foot seven, five foot six, and I wasn't. I was a lot taller than them. So when I showed up, I was bigger. But that's just something they do in, in boxing and combat sports, period. But uh, yeah, Tia Fimo, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to, like I said, Pedraza is underrated. Now, when he fought Tank Davis, and a lot of people are saying, oh, Tufimo's fighting Tank Davis's, you know, leftovers. If that's the case, then, then Lomachenko fought all of Tufimo's leftovers. I'm going to make y'all, I'm going to make y'all understand. When I speak, you're going to, you're going to listen. God gave you two ears and one mouth. So listen more and talk less, punks. Punks, plural. But uh, anyways, um, you know, the thing would be like, if Pedraza does win, because he has a good chance to win, if he does win somehow, what? He makes, he makes TFMO look bad, what? Tifimo goes back down to 135, or does he move up to 147? Is he gonna? No, no, he's not gonna go up to 147. You know, I think his best bet would be to go to 135 if he were to lose. I'm not doubting him at 140. You know, but people are really underestimating Jose Pedraza. He he reminds me of Miguel Cotto. Straight up, like like he's just overall a great boxer, but you know he can be hurt. You know 
We've never seen Tiafimo finished. We've seen Pedrosa finished. Now, who has the advantages and disadvantages? That's easy. That's easy. Um, you know, of course, Pedraza height, Pedraza reach, Pedraza defense. No, that goes. To, it's about a tie. It's about a tie. Footwork, close, close. I give it to Tiafimo, but it's very close. Um, speed, Tiafimo. Power, Tiafimo. Chin, able to the you know take a punch. Tiafimo. But Pedraza is a is a very experienced fighter and he also is very durable. So it's not gonna be easy to knock him out. It's not gonna be easy to catch him. So I'm not here to make a prediction. If y'all if y'all subscribe to my channel, y'all understand I, what I do is I break down fights and then the night before for all my subscribers who gamble, I tell you how to gamble on the fight. And then I give my prediction in a short video. But for now, I'm just breaking it down. So, Tiafimo versus Pedraza. I just totally think that it's going to be a very technical fight. It's going to go, you know, into the later rounds. Pedraza is too slick. He's not going to stand there and let Tiafimo hit him. Tiafimo being the shorter fighter is going to have to figure out how to get in on Pedraza and land some big shots. He's been training training with uh, Nova and Spar, you know, sparring and he's he's been putting in work. He's been in uh, he's been in training camp. So, I think he's taking this fight very serious. And um, unless there's some kind of corruption going on or, you know, which there always is, but, you know, if it goes to the judges, TFMO got it. If it doesn't go to the judges, I think TFMO got it. But if Pedraza happens to show up and do a, a, spectac a spectacular job against TFMO Lopez and like make him look bad, and TFMO still get the decision, then then something you know, then people will know what's up. But I don't think that'll happen. I'm Team Lopez all the way. I'm Team Lopez all the way. Yeah, I'm half Puerto Rican, but, yeah, you know, and, and Tifimo's Honduran, but you got to embrace he's still Latino, you know? So, and that's how it is. That's how it is, you know? It's, it's no big deal. You know, the, the, the African Americans, they like the black fighters. The Caucasians, the white people, like, are in between. So they don't want to be racist. So sometimes they lean to this side or lean to that side on to the next one. But me, I'm Latino. So, hey, look, I'm always going to favor the Latino fighter. In this case, they're both Latinos. So it's very difficult for me to just be biased on, because I'm, 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 you know, and also, if there's a good African American fighter, like Shakur Stevenson or uh, Tank, Tank Davis is, is a monster. Tank Davis is a monster. He's a beast. I'll never not give him props. But you know, like when he fought Jose Pedraza, come on, man. Like he was Pedraza was totally way drained. They stopped it in the seventh. They stopped it in the seventh round to give Pedraza a two-minute rest for the doctors to review him just so that it wouldn't end in the seventh or eighth round. That is corruption right there. They wanted the fight to go on longer so that gamblers could win in a certain round. It's all, trust me, y'all. Y'all don't even know. It's all fixed and contrived, and they got people fooled. But I'm hoping that Pedraza versus Tiafimo Lopez is what it is and expected to be a good technical boxing match a taller longer sniping counter punching who can sl move really well pedraza versus a slick super athletic fast 
hard hitting knockout artist Tiafimo Lopez. Now, as far as credentials, you got to give it to um, Tiafimo Lopez. I think he's fought the better fighters. Definitely fought the, fought the better fighters, and he's beat the better opposition. You know, his records are better. You know, I mean, Pedraza's had more fights, but that doesn't always matter. So, I'm going to go and end this right now. Um, I will do a prediction when the fight gets closer. But for now, I just wanted to do a little breakdown on what I think about both of the fighters. And I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on Pedraza. He always comes to fight. And he's very, very durable. Very, very skilled. He is a, a, a great boxer. But Tiafimo is a monster. He's a beast. And he can knock out Pedraza. He can't. He just has he just has to figure out. He, I'm sure I'll have a good game plan. You know, I'm sure I'm sure they're working on a game plan. And if he executes well, and depending on who adjusts the better the best out of the two during the fight, that's gonna be the um so that's gonna be the main thing. And so I'm thinking you know, whoever has the higher IQ, and we're going to see. And we know Pedraza has a very high IQ. Now, Tifimo in that Cambosis fight, left his eye, he blew his, freaking threw his IQ out the window and went nuts, you know. So I'm hoping he shows up like he did versus Pedro Campa and very smart, you know, takes his time and fights like he did Lomachenko. Like he did everybody else. Let's get that to you if you more back. I mean, this is the take back, the takeover. So that's what I'm expecting. Tia Fimo Lopez to be the victor in this fight. But it will not be easy. And if it is easy, Tia Fimo will be champion at 140 just like everyone thought and I've always thought. But if not... Pedraza can somehow pull something crazy out. TP Mo needs to get a nutritionist, go back to 135, and just dominate. And just dominate him. But there's so much money at 140, I think that he's going to do his thing, and um, TP Mo will come out victorious. That's all I got to say. Click like, subscribe, and um, like I said, I'll, I'll do a prediction and I'll give you gambling tips. And, and you know a, a night before the fight and I'll do other videos too I'm a, th this is just my 15 minute rant about the fight you know I'm, I'm trying to hype the fight y'all like for real they both deserve it they're gonna they're gonna make some money off this fight and they deserve it because they are both both warriors for real they both deserve it they're veterans in the in boxing and uh, if anybody deserves to get paid, they do. And I know they're going to show up and give the, the fans an exciting fight. Jose Pedraza versus Teofimo Lopez Jr. December 10th. ESPN. ESPN Plus. I'm telling y'all. And I'll, I'm, even gonna, I'm even going to um, commentate on the fight when, uh, when it comes on for those who, do, who aren't going to be able to watch it. But anyways, like I said, click like, subscribe. Love you all. Thank you who all who subscribed and comment. I reply to every comment. Every comment I will reply to. That's my stick. Please click like, subscribe, comment. I'm not getting monetized for this. But if you want to donate, money sign Magno44. I'll leave it right here. Love you all. Peace.